In this brief tutorial, we're going to spend just a few minutes looking at how you can narrow your search results to make sure you're finding the best resources for whatever topic you're looking at. A lot of times the first search terms that you use maybe aren't the best. I think there's a tendency to start by searching with broad terms, and these searches usually bring back way too many results for you to look at. The goal here is to establish ways for you to find a reasonable number of relevant sources regarding your topic. What I've done to start here is go to Academic Search Premier, which is a great general database that indexes lots of different sources on lots of different topics. You have access to Academic Search Premier from the Albertsons Library website. The first step to doing your research is coming up with a list of search terms you can use. I'm pretending that I'm working on a research project about alternative energy, so here's a list of search terms I've already developed regarding this topic, and I'll rely on this list of terms as I search. So let's conduct a search in Academic Search Premier. You can see that we start with a pretty basic search page. So to get started, I'm just going to type in alternative energy and see what I get. Okay, you can see that this brings back a lot of results. I have over 1600 articles and I probably don't want to spend time sorting through that many, right? So why not try to make my search a little bit more specific? I'm going to click up here on advanced search because this will allow me to narrow my search. When I click on advanced search there are additional fields here so that I can search for alternative energy along with other terms. Let's look at the list of search terms I brainstormed and pretend that I'm interested in focusing on a more specific source of alternative energy like solar power. Now when I search, rather than just bringing me back all of the results about alternative energy or solar power, this database will bring back results that have to do with both. So I'll type solar power in here, click search, and see what I get. So you can see now I have 65 results, which is a lot more manageable than the 1600 I had before. I can keep entering terms to narrow my search, but notice too that the database is making some suggestions for ways to narrow my results. When you're researching, glance at the suggestions the database makes. There might be some great ideas. For example, let's narrow a little more and say I want to focus on these issues just in the United States. So I'll just click right here. Now I'll get results that have to do with all three topics, alternative energy, solar power, and the United States. Okay, so now I have 18 results. I can easily glance through this list to see which articles look relevant and useful for my project. So to summarize, the point here is that different combinations of search terms will bring back different results. You want to try and find a manageable number of reliable and related sources that you can use, and you do this by using different search terms to narrow your results. And even though we've been looking at one specific database here, most databases will have similar features. You can go to an advanced search page and add search terms to narrow your results. The database will make suggestions for other terms to use, etc. Good luck as you do your own research and find sources to use for your project.